Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I switched my party affiliation uh, back to Republican from Independent. Okay? And the specific reason why I did it is so that I could vote for Kathy Barnett in the Republican primary. Okay, uh, the, the two people that she's running against, uh, most people would classify as rhinos, uh, not very pro-gun rights. Um, and from everything I have seen and read, uh, Kathy Barnett seems to be the most um, gun rights person, right? Uh, she's basically an America uh, first person, a conservative, a constitutionalist. Um, so I definitely recommend that you guys look into her, right? Uh, don't just blindly take my word for it. Uh, she's got a Facebook page. She's got websites. Um, so she, there's a number. She, she's done a, quite a bit of talking. So you can watch videos of her talking and you can make up your own mind. But from everything I've seen, she, she seems to be uh, the best candidate uh, out of the uh, Republicans uh, that are running. So the reason why I had switched to independent was at, was as a direct result of the uh, of what happened after January 6th where I saw all the Republicans turn against Trump now uh, keep in mind I was never a, a super Trump fan uh, in his first year he upset me when he was trying to uh, sell off the forests for, for development uh, and then later on of course he really upset me with the bump stock ban um, but at the time of the election, I, I, you know, the 2020 election, I recognized him as the best choice. Um, and then when I, when I saw what happened um, and, and how the Republicans treated him after January 6th, um, th th that's the thing that made me say, okay, I've had enough of the Republican Party. I'm going independent. Um, so, I, I, and I really had no intention of, of switching back this election cycle or any others. However, uh, specifically because of what I have seen out of Kathy Barnett, I decided to switch back to Republicans, so specifically so I can uh, vote for her. Okay, um, so I, I invite you guys to take a look at her. Post in the comments below what you think. Um, you know, maybe you'll see some things that you don't like that we should all be aware of. You can put that in the comments, or some things that you really like, put that in the comments. Or also, if you got information about the other the people that she's running against again let us know about it from everything that i have seen and heard about uh the her the other two republican candidates i mean she's definitely the better choice for us okay um my three concerns as far as what i want from uh from a senator uh basically preservation of gun rights okay now how gun rights you know how pro gun rights is she okay now you know, you're not going to find any videos of her bump firing uh, a braced AR pistol, right? You're not going to see, you're not going to see videos of her building Glock clones. Okay, so you know, we, you know, I mean, basically that's not her thing. Uh, you know, it's just like, uh, like I like cars, right? I like trucks, uh, but I'm not like a muscle car enthusiast, right? So. You know, you, you know, you, you can't expect me to like really be into the details of that, but I could, I could learn about it. I could go into it with a positive, you know, you know, like, like, like when I look at a muscle car, well, I don't think, you know, pollution machine, you know, I think, oh, cool. You know, so I think that her approach towards guns is kind of the same thing. I don't think she's a gun enthusiast, right? I haven't seen anything to make me believe that, uh, but I think that. Um, she favors gun rights, and I think that she's somebody that we can work with and influence and try to, you know, try to get her to see, you know, why gun rights mean so much to us, okay? So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing, um, you know, she is an America first uh, candidate. She's running on that. Um, and uh, very important, we got we to gotta take control of the southern border. Okay? All these people that are pouring into this country, uh, these are low-skill people that don't have anything to offer, okay? Um, what are they gonna do? I mean, first of all, these people are, forget forget the fact that they can't speak, read, or write English. They're illiterate in their own, uh, in, in, in their own language, okay? Um, so these people coming into the country, they have no skills to offer. They really can't do any work. There's only two things that they're gonna be able to do. They're either gonna go on welfare and live off of us, Okay, um, or they're gonna go into the crime business. Okay, I mean those are really your two, the only two options if you need to survive and you have no no useful skills. Um, 
so so that's that's kind of what they're bringing into this country um and even if those people are coming in and uh, even if those people are coming in with the intention of working that kind of work does not exist here there is no low skill work in this country most of the stuff that that that's labor intensive we import right no discussion on whether that's good or bad or right? i've done videos on that but that's just the fact all the stuff that is labor intensive we import we don't manufacture here so there's no work for them to do now even if you are on welfare yourself right um even if you're leeching off of the system these people coming into the country are basically going to be using up your resources okay so there'll be you know less food stamps for you uh as they take up more of those resources okay um so first first concern gun rights i need somebody to protect it second concern we gotta shut down the border right seal it up get these people out of the country that don't belong here okay um and the third thing uh is the inflation problem okay now uh the, the government has always been printing money it's just that when they used to do it 20 or 30 years ago they did a, they did so little of it that people weren't aware of it right businesses were kind of buying into yeah we're borrowing money we're going to pay it back at some point in the future uh, they were you know so everybody was kind of believing that they were really borrowing money okay at this point right where the, at the point where they are you know borrowing a trillion dollars at a time okay so here's the thing a trillion seconds is 31,000 years, okay? Um, you know, there's something I think like 7 trillion grains of sand on the entire earth. So the number trillion is a tremendously big number, okay? Now, uh, we really shouldn't be talking about trillions unless we're talking about molecules, you know, or stars or, you know, grains of sand, right? That's how big that number is. So now at the point where the government is borrowing a trillion dollars at a time, we all can see that they're obviously printing this money, right? They're doing it electronically, but they're electronically printing it. They're obviously electronically creating this money because nobody has a trillion dollars to give to them, okay? You know, they don't collect a trillion dollars in taxes somehow, okay? I mean, you know, additional dollars. In, in, uh, and again, this this money, uh, this the number tri a trillion dollars should not, uh, you know, should, is, 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 the, word, the number trillion dollars is not something that should exist. Let me put it put it this way: If you take a shovel from the year 1900, right? I don't know, you know, what that shovel cost back then, but let's say that shovel cost 25 cents, okay? Okay, and it, that that shovel moves five pounds of dirt, right? Every time you push into the ground, it moves five pounds of dirt, all right? And now you take a shovel from today, same size, right? And now this shovel, let's say, costs 20 dollars, okay? It also moves five pounds of dirt. So if you got these two shovels side by side, the value of both of these shovels, one from 1900, one from 2020, okay, is the same because they both do the same work. They both move five pounds of dirt. So when you when you look at one shovel and you say this one costs 25 cents, this one costs 20 dollars, it's not the value of the shovel that has changed. It's the value of the money, right? They've been printing so much money that it just continually loses value. And uh, what happens is when they, when, as they print money, what they're doing is they're taxing, okay? Because uh, they're diluting the value of your money. Um, so anytime the government, through some action, reduces the buying power of your money, in reality, they have taxed you, okay? Uh, so that's really the biggest tax that the government imposes on all of us. Uh, they tax us through inflation, right? Because they're able to just keep printing up this money and keep buying stuff, which reduces our ability to buy stuff right because our the value of our money is going down all right so so those are my three concerns and I, I, so from what I've seen so far I think that Kathy Barnett is a good candidate to deal with these things preservation and expansion of our gun rights right it's not we've already lost a lot of ground on gun rights so it's not enough to just stay where we are we need to get our gun rights back okay so preservation and expansion of our gun rights right uh, you know controlling the southern border and getting the illegals out um and getting inflation under control so uh look at the kathy barnett uh and like i said she's the reason why i switched back to the republican party and um i think that um let me say this when you look at some of these people that we call rhinos right like to like pat toomey right uh, and a lot, a lot of these like mitt romney um I think that these people are actually a, a good representation of what the Republican Party actually is, right? They're basically just Democrat light, 
Um, so what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to to, 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 to change the Republican Party, and I think that this is a person uh, that will move us in, in that direction, in, in a more conservative direction. Why is conservative good? Okay, well, here's the thing. When you start doing changes, right, lots of changes really fast, there's more of a chance that you're going to make it worse than you're going to make it better, okay? That's why when the, when, the, when the founding fathers of this country set it up, they wanted to set it up so that it was really difficult to make big changes because they know anytime you're making big changes, it's impossible to kind of, you know, to, 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 to correctly um, to visualize how everything is going to be changed in a system. So they created a system where it's very slow uh, and difficult to make big changes. Okay, So that's why uh, in, in concept, the idea of conservatism, not just in, in this country, but in any country on any planet, um, is the better system, right? Because it doesn't allow things to change rapidly uh, to the point where it becomes worse. Okay, so um, that's why I, I, I tend to favor this idea of conservatism. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you don't have a chance, subscribe and look into Kathy Barnett. And like I said, she's the reason why I switched back to the Republican Party so I could uh, vote for this lady. And by the way, she is uh, a black female, okay? And not that it makes a difference. A lot of people think that, hey, we gun guys are all racist, misogynists. We don't care, <laughs> right? These are the issues that count, and she seems to be supporting these issues, okay? That's what matters. Um, yeah, right? So, again, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all soon.